Hi, welcome to our first episode of Mental Health TV. I'm Jim Haney, the Executive Director of Montana's Peer Network. I'm joined here by uh, Julio. Hi there. I'm with Mental Health America of Montana. We're a nonprofit based out of Bozeman, Montana. And so this is our first episode, as I said, and we're going to come to you with uh, all kinds of episodes about uh, different resources in Montana around mental health, uh, suicide prevention, peer support, uh, recovery. Um, what else, Julio? What else are we going to cover on this show? Also, we work with AmeriCorps Vista quite a bit. We have AmeriCorps Vista named Sarah, who's going to talk about a couple of projects around suicide prevention and mental health stigma. Uh, the one project that we talk about a lot is called PRISM, which is a project to create art pieces to uh, promote the suicide prevention hotline here in Montana. Yeah, very so it's, good. it's a great project. So, Julio, uh, tell, tell the audience a little bit about Mental Health America and just in general, sort of what Mental Health America is all about. Mm -hmm. Well, I started with MHA, um, I call it MHA for short, in uh, 2010, um, at, right, out of, right out of college. And I worked there as AmeriCorps Vista, and since then I've done a lot of work with them around the Montana Warm Line. And that's one of the projects they do. Along, the, along with the Warm Line, they do the Bipolar Support Group, which is telephone based. And we're looking to do a lot of different. Um, distance kind of connections mm -hmm. through Skype and things like that for, for type of support groups for people that have bipolar disorder and also people that are with depression and general mental health conditions. Um, but right now the big thing I'm working on is the Montana Warm Line which is a peer support line uh, different from a normal crisis line mm -hmm. in that we would take calls from people that aren't in crisis per se, hence the warm piece of it, not a hotline but a warm okay. line. And it's staffed by people that, are, that uh, have been through the mental health system themselves here in Montana mm -hmm. and are in recovery with their own mental illness. So and peers. Uh, yeah, yeah, peers exactly. And you're with the Montana Peer Network, so it's sort of the same deal. Mm -hmm. And it's just a line that's open uh, Monday through Friday from 4 to 10, and Saturday and Sunday from 10 to 10, in which you can call in and talk to someone who's been through the mental health system, may have some idea of what it's like to be in your shoes, so to speak, and they give an, an ear to hear uh, for people that want someone to talk to, maybe be isolated and whatnot. That's great. So, that's yeah. great. And how long has the warm line been? Uh, active here in Montana. We're coming up on year four, so since 2008. Wow. So we're still in its infancy, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Always looking for volunteers, so folks, if you're out there and want to volunteer, it's a great way to do it. And uh, you can be anywhere in Montana. You can, we do training via Skype or in person, depending on where you're from. And the training is, I don't want to say it's very, very difficult, but it takes a bit of it takes a bit of your mental and emotional health to be a part of this training. Sure. Because we ask you to talk to people who are isolated because they're dealing with mm -hmm. sometimes severe mental health illnesses. Mm -hmm. And it, it takes um, a lot of care and concern to be a part of the warm line. So if that's, if that's let's say that you fit the bill, mm -hmm. that's something we'd ask you to, to, to contribute with. And they can get in touch with you how, Julio? You can go to our website, which is mhaofmt.org. It's the fastest way to get a hold of me. And there's a the About Us section there. You reach us by phone too. We're at 406 587 7774. Or else you can email me, which is also off the website as well. That's great. And, and I've been through the training, and it is. I think it's a little intense, and you definitely have to be in the right place in your own recovery and, mm -hmm. and ready for it. But I think, in general, the warm line, it's a wonderful thing because just what you said, I mean, it reaches people who are isolated. Mm -hmm. um, in Montana, we have all these rural uh, communities, oh, yeah. and they may not have services. Mm -hmm. And so this is something that. Um, that they can utilize right from their home. Yeah, exactly. And it's, I just want to put it out there, it's not to supplant or replace mental health counseling of any kind right. or anything like that. It's just an added layer uh, of support mm -hmm. there that maybe you don't have it in your own town. It's just another way to connect with people. Yeah, that's great. Mm -hmm. That's great. So let's share a little bit about what Mental Health TV is about. Well, I feel, we've, you know, we've gone back and forth about what we think it means, and I think mm -hmm. it's a way to promote ideas um, through the peer, peer network, so to speak, mm -hmm. and ways to promote mental health that isn't popular these days. Things like stigma, mm -hmm. things like uh, mental health recovery, mm -hmm. maybe some things in the mental health system as well. Um, my stake in this, I think, is to really promote resources that are already in Montana that aren't well known. Mm -hmm. uh, things like the Warm Line, for example, right. things like the Help Center in Bozeman, Voices mm -hmm. of Hope in Great Falls, things, things of that nature. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And, and I think for Montana's Peer Network, you know, we're an organization, a nonprofit um, that's made up of people who are in recovery. Mm -hmm. um, and we like to say uh, people who 
uh, have used mental health services, may use mental health services, may benefit from using mental health services. Yeah. But kind of the same idea that you were touching on with the warm line, mm -hmm. um, people that are in recovery and want to network with others to mm -hmm. find out, well, what else is happening in Montana? And I know when you and I started talking about this last year, it was like, yeah, wouldn't that be great if we could get on, if we could get on TV and talk about these <laughs> yeah, things right. and promote the work that we're doing across the state, mm -hmm. but really be able to blast that out to people mm -hmm. and share information about events, uh, different resources that are available, um, and really start to connect people together and, and have guests come on Yes, um, and uh, do interviews with them and find out about what they're doing in their community. Mm -hmm. yeah, and here we are one year later actually on TV. Yeah. It's yeah. kind of a great fruition. Uh, and you know we've been doing a lot of different things. Podcasts, is, we've been a, a part of that a lot lately, which are, are great ways to get in touch with people. Uh, we're also trying to start to do webinars to promote uh, mental health techniques to counselors or therapists that are already in practice is another thing we like to work on. There's a whole plethora of things that we have going on, uh, but right now I think just to promote resources is a pretty viable uh, yeah. thing to do. Absolutely. I, I know in traveling around the state, you know, if I'm in Missoula and I find out, oh, wow, there's like really great stuff going here. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, Winds of Change is doing some really great program with their peers and employment. But that doesn't translate over to Billings. Mm -hmm. Billings never hears about it. And mm -hmm. so I love to be able to have this vehicle to share that um, with the people in Billings and vice versa. Or if it's in Haver, you know, how do you share that with people in, in Livingston? Mm -hmm. And so, like you said, I think the, uh, we've been doing podcasts and now having a TV and really being able to get out to people to share mm -hmm. these kinds of things that are out there to help um, reduce stigma and connect people together to mm -hmm. resources and, and information. Mm -hmm. Well, one thing I want to go ahead and plug is we're having a conference coming up September 28th. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to be a conference on the unhappy topic of childhood trauma. Mm -hmm. We're going to have uh, three speakers. The first notable speaker we have is Jamie Walton. She works for a place called the Wayne Foundation, which is an organization dedicated to preventing childhood child trafficking. And she herself was uh, a child sex worker uh, not of her own choice, of course, mm -hmm. and she's going to speak a lot about um, her place in recovery, what mental health play, what, what role mental health played in her recovery, and also things she's doing now to to work out uh, to get kids off the streets and to get them in. And the goal, the, her goal, is to make create a house for kids who are in childhood childhood trafficking, and to be a part of something positive instead of being in the streets and being victimized. Unfortunately, that's great. It's a it's a difficult subject matter yes but one that needs to be talked about mm -hmm. and it is not something that people like hearing about when we first th brought the conference up we got a lot of we received a lot of well, i don't want to say negative reviews but mm -hmm. a lot of do you really want to talk about that kind of topic mm -hmm. here in montana mm -hmm. uh, it's not something that we or enjoy talking about i mean mm -hmm. best case scenario we wouldn't have to talk about it because it wouldn't exist right but here we are it, it's That's right. unfortunately it's something we have to work with yeah. So Jamie's going to come out and speak um, in the early morning, and then we're going to have uh, Marilyn Bergier Zimmerman, who's going to be the, the main speaker. She works out of the University of Montana on um, Native trauma and childhood trauma as mm -hmm. well. And we're also going to have a lunchtime speaker, and um, her name is escaping me right now, but mm -hmm. she works for the, the Justice Department here in Helena. Oh, that's great. So it's going to be a, great. a good time. Yeah, and really, um, I, I think if we want to get to stigma, mm. the only way to do that is to bring in speakers and yeah. talk about it. Yeah. It's just like mental health and mental health recovery. And um, I know whenever I speak to people, I always tell them, you know, you may have a diagnosis, but recovery is possible. Mm -hmm. And the only way we're going to get to that point is by talking about it and yeah. by sharing our stories and getting out there and saying, yeah, I went through this. You know, I was hospitalized because of my illness, but mm -hmm. I'm getting better yeah. and I'm working at it. And so mm -hmm. I think it's great, Mental Health America, having a conference and um, you know, going against the grain even. So yeah. I, well, yeah. You have to. Well, yeah, we'll see how it'll go. I'm really excited about it, and I hope we get a good turnout just for the information piece of it. Mm -hmm. We're not in it to make money, obviously. Uh, mm -hmm. We are a nonprofit, and we are in it just to basically break even on everything we do. Sure. Um, so the conference is $100. that includes lunch and six CEUs, mm -hmm. and you can find out more about that off of our website, mhafmt.org. And it's uh, the end of September, right? Mm -hmm. September? The, the 28th is going to be in Great Falls at the Manfield okay. Convention Center. Right. And, and, you know, there's going to be a lot of information there. There'll be other nonprofits that will be promoting mm -hmm. their information. Yep. Uh, we usually have some pretty great uh, turnout for knowledge partners and whatnot. That's great. Mm -hmm. So another conference coming up uh, November 1st and 2nd mm -hmm. is the Montana Mental Health Conference. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people know it as the NAMI Conference. Mm -hmm. 
It was actually the Montana Mental Health Conference, yeah. November 1st and 2nd, here in Helena. Oh, great. And uh, that, I was there last year. Um, we did a presentation on peer support, mm -hmm. and it's a, another really good conference. Oh, yeah. Um, lots of, uh, you've got providers and uh, family members, peers or consumers there. Um, a great place to pick up lots of information. And they usually have some fantastic speakers. I remember last year they had a gentleman, um, I forgot of his last name, but his first name was Kevin, and he was right. one of the survivors that actually survived diving off the Golden Gate Bridge. Right, talking about uh, suicide, mm -hmm. right? right? So that's a dynamic speaker, dynamic speakers, yeah. and great information. Yeah, definitely, that's a good conference. And the, uh, in October, October 10th through the 14th, is actually the, the National uh, Alternatives Conference, mm. uh, Alternatives 2012 in Portland, and that's a completely peer-organized organ conference. Oh. So it's uh, consumers uh, putting on all the workshops, all the presenters, um, last year I was able to go and there were over 700 people there and it was wonderful, lots of uh, workshops and I know there's scholarships available for that. Mm -hmm. uh, people can go to the uh, Alternatives 2012 website mm. to find out more. So Great. that's excellent. Cool. Yeah. So um, I know we want to talk about some future episodes at some point too. Yeah. I know we're looking for, for guest speakers and whatnot as well. Yeah. People I that want to promote their activities. Absolutely. Things of that nature. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, we've already touched on some of them. Uh, so I think suicide prevention mm -hmm. and peer support. Um, I think youth activities, mm -hmm. something that we're looking at. And uh, rap, I know um, we're going to be shooting an episode. We've got some people coming to talk about wellness recovery action planning. Oh, great. And some future, future episodes. So, yeah, anybody who uh, would like to be on the show, please get a hold of us, 406-551-1058. Uh, mm -hmm. And um, we can set you up for a for an interview. Good so idea. I want to share one more project okay. that we're working on that oh, we're right, just right. launching. I almost forgot about that. Yeah, I know it's like so new. We're like right here. We've got the website up, yes. and it's uh, well. Why don't you share it? Well, the project is called It's Okay to Get Help, and the website is It's Okay to Get Help org. And the whole project is based upon a cyclical process of mental health recovery and volunteerism. Mm -hmm. So how it breaks down is. A peer would volunteer X many hours for an organization um, of their choosing, mostly nonprofit type organizations. And in exchange for that volunteerism, they are credited an hour or X many hours of counseling from a provider who participates in the program. Yeah. So the whole idea is to create healthier, com healthier communities. Basically, mm -hmm. is the idea. And Absolutely. the and as of right now, it's in its infancy, like we talked about now. Mm -hmm. We're looking for counselors um, throughout Montana that, are, that want to be involved and also peers that want to be involved and organizations, too, that want to be involved. If you're coming from a or, you know, university system like University of Montana or Montana State University mm -hmm. that have big projects going on that you need volunteers for, mm -hmm. and we have people that can fill that role in exchange for counseling, which can you know, make themselves healthier, that would be great. And Absolutely. These are folks that, uh, you know, unfortunately can't afford mental health services on their own right. without insurance, without Medicaid, without MHSP, and, and they're looking to get some support and help. Yeah, yeah I, I think, um, you know, for me and for, for Montana's Peer Network, that's the big issue that we see is that um, it's not, for some people, not that they don't want to go and get help mm -hmm. or go to counseling, it's that they can't afford to. Mm -hmm. And so with this, I, I think this is a, an, an avenue where they can go and get counseling services mm -hmm. and in return for that do some service work some volunteering in their community um, which helps the community which we know helps in recovery mm -hmm. um, and at the same time we know counselors a lot of them already do pro bono work mm -hmm. so they're already giving away the time mm -hmm. that could be put towards this program mm -hmm. and we could create as you said you know more healthy individuals healthier communities so um, I would encourage you to get in touch with us if you're a provider mm -hmm. or if you're somebody who would like to um, go out and volunteer and, and is looking for counseling services. It's it's okay to get help dot org mm -hmm. and um, it's all spelled out and all the information is on on the website. We have forms on there mm -hmm. where they can sign up and uh, we're just getting the program going. So we're looking for counselors who want to participate and we'll post you up on there and we're going to be promoting this uh, in all our future episodes. Yeah. Um, so it's exciting because it's something new for Montana, kind of like this show. Yes, right. Very much <laughs> and, so. Uh, yeah, you know, we're just looking to create that circular paradigm of health where everybody's contributing um, all the way around. And that's like the diagram on this website. It's a circular right. paradigm. And just to point out, it's okay to get help is spelled I-T-S-O-K-A-Y 
uh, T O H E L P. Right. It's, there's the A and the Y in there, right. like not just OK. Yeah. So anyway, I want to push that out there. So we are just about out of time, Julio. OK. That was a fast episode, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. Well, wait a year for 15 minutes. I guess that's how it goes, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So tune in to Mental Health TV. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to be airing episodes uh, each month on different issues around mental health recovery and wellness in Montana, talking about different events and having guests on the show. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Julio, thanks for, for being here. And, uh, uh, you're welcome, Jim, and I hope to see you, you and everyone else again next time. Thanks.